This is Kat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I'm here today to do another unboxing. I have been buying from Diamond Art Studio UK um, as you might be able to tell from their signature packaging which is just it's so beautiful. Every single time I get a parcel from them I'm just full of admiration for how they wrap these. So if you order a diamond painting from Diamond Art Studio this is how it will arrive. It will come in a kind of clear plastic bag around it that sounds really flimsy but it's like this really sturdy plastic so it does the job well um, and then inside you have your your present that you have bought for yourself <laughs> you'll get this little um what's the word i'm looking for business card with their information on it and inside are my goodies so basically they had um a big release day recently it was the 28th of November and they had a few restocks and they had a few new paintings that were going to be very popular and I was admiring one of them. Well I was admiring several but there was one in particular that I kept thinking oh I do like that one and it was this little bunny rabbit and I kept thinking oh I've, I've bought too many recently I won't buy it just yet I will I'll come back and get him maybe on a restock or something and then later that evening I was um, on their website, which, you know, like if you genuinely mean to abstain from buying, don't go on the website, right? <laughs> Who was I kidding? <laughs> anyway, so I looked and I thought that he would be out of stock already, but he wasn't. There was one left. One left. I mean, come on. It was meant to be. <laughs> and I was chatting to my friend Lisa. I'm painting Lisa on YouTube. You should go check out her channel. And I said, oh, I keep going back to look at him. And she was going, do it, do it. So, you know, I'm blaming her, obviously. <laughs> but here he is. It's not a very good picture at this angle, I'm afraid, because the lighting's a bit rubbish, but you'll see him in a minute. He's called Luan, and the artist is Hafsa Idris. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But anyway, um, it's an artist that has been licensed with Diamond Art Studio for a while because they do license all of their artwork. And I've admired lots of the pieces, and then I just I haven't quite got over the line with buying any before, although I've been sorely, sorely tempted. But this one... I decided he had to come live with me. <laughs> right, I can't get into the box. Ugh. There, <laughs> it was a little bit stiff. So they have been very, very busy recently with their new releases um, and hopefully they're having a bit of a quieter time of it now. But yeah, you should definitely check them out. They'll be restocking everything that came out. So if you missed any of those releases, because I know a lot of people were really keen to get hold of them, um, then don't worry, they will be back. Okay, so Diamond Art Studio give you the option to have a toolkit or not. I tend not to have one just because I don't tend to use um, the things that come with kits that much. I have all my own equipment. So where's my sticker sheet? Oh, that's in there. Okay, I'm going to have a quick look at the drills first. So they do their drills in Ziploc baggies, um, which does make it nice and easy for kitting up. And there are some gorgeous colours in this one. Oh, stunning. I love the range as well from like pale pinks and brighter colours through to all the darker colours I guess will be in the background. And I see a B's. Oh, I'm going to have to have a look and see how many I've got because this is another one with quite a few colours, which is sort of becoming a bit of a trademark for them. So let's take a peek. I can't remember exactly how many it was. Not very well prepared, am I? Okay, so there's a, a better picture of him for you. He's just so adorable. And I love this, um, this sort of, you know, brush artwork effect and the slightly abstracty nature of it. If you followed me for a while, you know I'm an absolute sucker for abstracty animals. I don't know why, I could not explain it, but yeah, they often draw me in. So I have got my sticker sheets here, and as you can see, we'll get to 69 on this page, and then over to the next one, 90, yeah. 
<laughs> that that rings a bell now. So yeah, 90 colours in this, but it's only a 60 by 60 centimetre painting and it is square drills. Now I can't remember if there was a choice because Diamond Art Studio do offer a choice for a lot of their kits. I think these large colour count kits sorry, I had to think of the words there, tend to only come in squares because if there's lots and lots of colours that tells you there's going to be a fair bit of confetti in detail and squares do bring that out better. But I'll check and I'll put on the screen now if, if it does come in a choice of, of shapes. But yeah, oh he's so sweet and I love these stickers as well. Having stickers for my storage pots is just so handy, particularly with so many colours to deal with, you know. And having a sticker sheet for my logbook too. So yeah, let me put those to the side. I'm gonna have a look at the canvas I think and then I'll take a quick peek at some of the drills. So Diamond Art Studio use poured glue so I'm gonna roll it back on itself just to flatten it out a little bit. But you can already see him in all his glory there. They have this really nice soft backed canvas which is lovely and malleable and easy to work with. There we are. Sam was showing me a trick for how you can flatten these really quickly <laughs> and I'm yeah I need to work up the nerve to actually practice it because it involves peeling the cover off and then whizzing it down anyway you should check their social media because you did put a video up so here he is here is Luan do you think Luan is how it's pronounced I wonder but that's that's that, that's how I read it anyway um, so yeah you've got at the top you've got their branding Diamond Art Studio there is a schematic on both sides which actually takes up the full side <laughs> so normally with paintings you have like maybe top left and bottom right or something like that but this just takes the whole of the side some of their recent canvases they've had to have multiple rows of colors because they've just had so many but yeah <laughs> just about fit in one this time and then at the bottom you get their social media links, their website and the details of the artist. Um, they, they always put the artist logo on which I think is a really cool touch. Now, confetti. I did say there was going to be confetti didn't I because there has to be with 90 colours in a 60 by 60 and yeah I see some patches of fairly intense confetti here. Mind you, I do also see blocks of colours in the background that won't be quite so slow going. It doesn't look bad actually, does it? I mean, in, in terms of confetti that is. Like, it, it definitely, for 90 colours in a 60 by 60, it could be a lot more scary looking and I don't think it looks too bad at all. Let me zoom you in so you can take a peek. So this is the kind of thing you're dealing with. So you see there are blocks, little blocks. And then, yeah, <laughs> I mean, these sorts of bits are gonna be fairly intense, aren't they? <laughs> but so, so worth it. They do hand render their kits as well. Um, so the confetti, you kind of, at least you know it's gonna be worth it. You know, it's not just, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not like computer generated, not been smoothed out by a human. Some of it doesn't make sense. It's there because it needs to be there to, to bring the painting to light. And they have quite a soft rendering style, which really suits a lot of the artists that they license, I think. So yeah, it's gorgeous. And uh, these pops of color with the flowers and like mushrooms and things are gonna be gorgeous. And I wonder, yeah, right, so that AB that I saw, which is a white AB, has this dash symbol and that is on all these like mushroomy bits so they're going to kind of glow, <laughs> which will be funny. And is that a moon? Yeah, that's the moon in the background. So yes, that as well is going to be highlighted by ABs, which is really pretty. Oops, just had to take a brief pause there because a guy, a, an engineer came out to check something on our boiler that I'd completely forgotten he was coming today. So I have no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> but um, yeah, one of the things that I was thinking looking at this is that 
even if the confetti at times can be um, a little slow going, one of the things that I think I'll really enjoy is that you sort of get different sections of colour working around the place. You know, there's a pinky reddy section down here, there's a greenish corner, this is more sort of whites and pale blues and you've got darker background, you've got the pale blue background and that variation in colour really helps to keep a painting interesting for me so I think that will very much help. Another thing that, oh sorry just trying to put my stickers down without losing them, another thing that I like to point out on Diamond Art Studios kits is that they've done this really quite innovative thing to help make their canvases really clear so if I just bring that up a bit towards the camera, you can probably see that the symbols that have a darker background and then writing in them, instead of that being white, like it typically is, they've actually used yellow. And the reason for that, that they explained is that when a canvas is printed and it's, you know, say, I don't know, a white L with a black background, just for the sake of argument, what happens is, the white bit isn't printed, it's, it's just left blank and colour is printed around it. And then that colour can bleed and you often see that on canvases where there's just a little bit of bleed and then the symbol isn't as clear. So with this, with using the yellow, the point of it is that they are printing something and therefore that means that the printer is able to do it more clearly. And certainly from the experience of it I've had so far looking over a couple of their newer kits, um, yeah, it, I mean, it definitely seems to do the job because this is absolutely crystal clear and the glue is good and strong too. So yeah, it's it, they were a really nice quality kit at a very reasonable price, particularly if you're in the UK where they offer free shipping, but they do ship internationally as well. So yeah, highly recommend this company if you haven't come across them yet. Okay, I am going to pan over this canvas and just show you everything in a bit more up close detail. You can tell me if you think I'm being overly optimistic in my assessment that the confetti isn't quite as bad as I first thought, because I do do that. <laughs> I look at it and I think, oh, it's not so bad. And then when I do it, I'm like, oh, that, that yeah, confetti. <laughs> Which I don't mind, because obviously I wouldn't buy kits like this otherwise. It's just that I know it'll, it'll take me a bit longer. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to do that pan over the kit and then I'll come back and just have a look at some of those drills with you. Isn't he adorable? I really, really love this artwork. I just think Hafsa Idris has done such a, a wonderful job bringing across this like really whimsical, almost fairy tale like quality to it. And the gorgeous little bunny is just so sweet. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to have a quick peek at some of the drills. If I can get in. Right. 
Let's have a look at those ABs from the end. I like their ABs. The um, the top, the coating, the AB coating feels a bit more securely on the diamonds than it does with some companies, if that makes sense. Right. There we are. Just waiting for my camera to play ball and focus. So they're lining up very nicely. Um, I haven't had any trouble with the drills in the kit that I'm working on at the moment. I choose you from Diamond Art Studio. They've been really, really good quality. And I think they've made further upgrades since then. So I do have high expectations of their drills that, that are being met. And that's very important to me as a fan of, of square drills because not good square drills can really, really affect my enjoyment of a piece. So yeah, they look good. Let me just put those away and take a look at a couple of other colours. Let's try and pull out a darker colour. Because they can be a bit more problematic sometimes. Bit of static in here, which is often the case, particularly if you have drills in a Ziploc bag. I'm not sure the reason for that. There's various things that you can do to help combat static. It helps if you prepare a little bit before you want to kit up. But yeah, if you're unsure how to handle that and you think it's going to be a bit of a pain, because it can be when you're kitting up, to be honest, I do have a video on managing static in drills, which, which you can find um, on my channel from around... My mind has gone completely blank, but it's from earlier this year. I'll pop on the screen when it was from. Um, so yeah, these poured out fine. It's just there are a few clinging in the bag. But yeah, looking very nice there with those darker drills. They line up perfectly in my tray, which is what I'm looking for. Because that tells me there's not too many with knobbly bits. My nemesis drills with knobbly bits because <laughs> I'm a really picky diamond painter I am um, I, I discard drills if they have anything wrong with them like if they've got holes no if they've got tabs they're not going to fit right bubbles all that kind of thing I, I don't like so yeah <laughs> the drills have to be pretty good to impress me and they are generally speaking with diamond art studio so there's the red for you and again, I've just pulled these out at random and they look pretty decent. There's one little bit of junk resin, but that's not even attached to a drill, so no problems there. Yeah, very happy with those. So as I said, this kit is now out of stock because yours truly nabbed the last one. <laughs> but Diamond Art Studio do make a point of saying they plan to restock all of their kits you know barring any unforeseen circumstances they will give people plenty of notice if they ever have to discontinue something and if it's popular it, it's not likely to be discontinued um, so yeah you can just follow their social media they, they are really really communicative on there follow their Facebook page in particular and they will post updates on there when they've got big restocks coming or new releases or anything like that and you'll know exactly when you can get your kit and it is worth paying attention to that because some of their more popular kits do not stay in stock for long. So you really do need to be on it. Okay, so there is Luan joining my collection. He is such a cutie. I've got to decide which of their kits I'm going to work on next because I'm working on I Choose You. I'll have that finished in another couple of weeks or so. And then the other ones that I have from them, a lot of them are these quite recent high colour count kits. And I really like the idea of trying one of those, I think. But I've just, I've got to decide which one to go for because they're all such beautiful pieces. And I know they'll all be quite long-term projects for me because I'll probably do them in smaller doses just so I don't get too overwhelmed, you know. If you ever look at a kit and it's got a lot of colours or it's particularly big or anything like that, my top tip is to just give yourself the space to do it in your own time, not feel like you have to go through it 
all at once. Um, I know some people really like to just do one kit at a time, but kits like these are a really great opportunity to have another kit on the go, which is a bit of a foil to the first one. You know, one that gives you something different. So maybe it gives you rounds when this one's squares, maybe it's really color blocky where this one's confetti and so on. And that way I personally find that I'm always able to avoid burnout because I'm not making myself keep going on a kit where actually I could do with having a bit of a break from it. But that's me personally, um, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, rambling on now a bit. So I will say goodbye to you there. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like on it and please consider subscribing if you haven't already to the channel. And I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye bye.